Hey everybody out there, so it's Danny G coming here. We got Dr. Tony Huge. And him and I have had an ongoing conversation about stem cells. So, you know, he came back in town. He always comes to town. His dad lives up the street from me, basically. And I'm super spoiled rotten with getting to hang out with Tony Huge. So, anyway, Tony's in town. And um, I'm like, Tony, tell me about the stem cells you've been taking. And I'm like, how many stem cells you take? Tell me, just, just Tony, just tell me the answer. What did you tell me? Uh, I have no idea how many stem cells I'm injecting. So this, this is great that you've researched it because you go to a lot of clinics. They won't tell you. I mean, that, that could be okay because you can go to a, a stem cell clinic that specializes in very specifically knee injuries or something. And so they know how many stem cells it requires for knee injury. But see, I'm not, I don't have one specific injury I'm trying to heal. I'm going for health, longevity, maybe even repairing damage in my body that I don't even know exists, kind of pre preventative. Right. And for that, I kind of need to know whether I'm using too little or not, you know, not enough stem cells, and you've been helping me now learn how many millions I'm supposed to be using. Okay, so, okay, so if you have more satellite cells in the muscle, you know what? Maybe you're going to get more like divisions. Maybe the perforations will be more. Maybe you're going to get more muscle cells is the hypothesis. So, you know, I just started um, taking these things. This, this is the first month I started taking them. But I did a lot of market research. I went up to the labs in Guadalajara. I went and found out who's actually cooking these things right and what kind of, li like, what kind of licenses they need. Um, Tony comes and tells me he didn't even know what he's taking. Let's go talk about dosing for a minute. So based on medical literature, dosing is, well, one to two million per kilo of body weight but up to five million, depending on how severe, you know, the thing you're trying to treat. But the way that the doctors say, if you want to do maintenance or you want to just like do an overhaul or buy yourself some years or see if you can get the benefits from these things, start at 50 to 100 million. And then come back, you know, gauge it, adjust, see if it helps some of the things you're trying to improve on. Um, but like for bodybuilding, like it's pioneering. It's pioneering at its best actually right now. Nobody really knows how to use these things exactly right. I'm trying to find out information on if there's a test that you can do to find out, you know, how much satellite cells you have available, okay? Because like, there's, there's, it's, it, I'm gonna break it down a little bit more, okay? So bear with me, guys. Basically, everybody's stem cells that they have since day one is, it's like you have a bank, okay? And for analogy purposes, some people are born rich and some people are born poor, and some people are run of the pack. Most people are like, you know, even, even pack. But some people, you know, they got a, a ton of it, so. When they go in their bodies like needing repair on any level and it goes to the bank machine, it's easy to get it out. It's like, here's some money, here's some stem cells, right? It just takes care of all the problems that it needs. Some people, they go to the bank machine and it's stingy. They're like, sorry, no money today to fix that problem. We're gonna save that for something else. And then their body suffers. So as you get older, everybody's stem cell response changes and you suffer. So why not have an excess of stem cells? Right? We're still learning and we're still gonna keep you guys up to date about all the things that we do learn from the body, from the pioneering standpoint of stem cells. But it's well documented out there, guys, that there's lots of health benefits from all kinds of things, from autism to MS to everything, basically, because stem cell response is in every part of your tissue. So anyway, and uh, regenomex.com. Tony, you got anything to add to that? Did you learn something? Was it like school today or what? Well, when you were talking about how, the, how many stem cells we're born with, so there, there is some mechanism by which our body does make more stem cells and put it yeah, in the muscle tissue. Yeah, yeah. In, in very small amounts. So I've read a lot of the, the medical studies about things that limit our ab ability to make more stem cells or activate stem cells in the muscle tissue. And I was always thinking before getting into stem cells that there's got to be some way to get way more stem cells. Instead of just wait, like trying to vary, it's, it's like a drug versus a natural remedy. Natural remedies are great, but they're not as powerful as drugs usually. So, you know, right. we're, we're trying to do all these things in bodybuilding to just kind of just nudge our body to make a little bit more stem cells or activate a little bit more or satellite cells. Why not just flood our body with injected direct stem cells and then I don't have to worry. It's the same thing that goes with steroids. Why am I going to try and manipulate every part of my entire life to produce natural, more natural testosterone, like 10% more natural yeah. testosterone? Why don't I just use testosterone? Source, like so I just see it very synonymous with that. Well, you know, Trev, um, Trev told me stories about taking cancer drugs and things like that to pull stem cells, like some of these dirtier tricks that big bodybuilders do. Yeah. You know, they're taking drugs to pull... They come with a lot of risks. Come yeah. with a lot of risks. They're pulling their own stem cells from their bones, so hopefully they can turn into muscle tissue. Like, it's crazy talk, but, you know, that's the stuff you guys are doing. But like I said, it's pioneering stuff, but there is a lot of medical literature out there for, like, normal things, you know, like, that they're treating with these things, health concerns, but there's... Actually, there's a lot of literature out there for, for, for how it helps people in um, the the muscle wasting as you get older. I forget the terminology or the name of it, but as you get older, there's some term. We all we all lose, I think it's 10% muscle mass from, 
30 or 40 on, like every decade, we're losing 10% muscle mass, which is part of the aging process. So this is a way that you could combat that hypothetically. And anyway, stem cells are in the future. Check it out. And I look forward to talking to you guys later. Dr. Tony Hughes, it's a pleasure. Adios. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. For more informational videos discussing effective mesenchymal stem cell therapies here in Mexico, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe for future videos. Regenimex.com. Longevity and quality of life specialists. Adios.